Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with blogtree.com. Please subscribe to Blogtree videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Belova Precisionist Champlain. Champlain, Champlain, Champlain. I like, what is Champlain? Is it like a river or something? I don't know. Lake, Lake Champlain, who knows? Um, but the brand is Belova. The Precisionist is the collection because of the movement. I'll get to that in a second. And Champlain is this. Um, Case design style, sporty. Um, I love how they come up with these names. They're always weird. I want to be on like the committee that sits on the table and be like, what do we want to call this? We haven't used a Champlain name in a while. And then they, they choose that. This specific model is the 96B132. Anyways, there hasn't been a, a ton of attention in the watch media about the Precisionist or the new Precisionist. It's actually an old name that they brought back, I think. Um, and it, it's interesting. I don't even know how to approach it because I don't want to get too nerdy and geeky. Let's just put it this way: this is a this is, Citizen owns Belova, so it's essentially a Japanese watch now. It used to be American, and two years ago they came out. I think it was about two years ago they came out with a Precisionist watch, maybe a year and a half ago, and it was very quiet, kind of under the radar. And if you really if you understand this watch, you're gonna you're gonna think it's really amazing. If you don't know about it, you just see it at the store, you're just gonna walk by and you're gonna be like, okay, whatever, that's fine. And the watches themselves are kind of cool, they're neat, but you don't buy this watch just because of how they look. You you buy this watch because of the movement. Let me explain what it is, okay? It has a it has a special quartz movement that's only in the precisionist watches. Um, now your standard quartz movement that's in most other quartz watches is accurate to about 10 to 15 seconds a month. Probably about 15 seconds a month. This one is accurate to about 10 seconds a year. This watch is much more accurate than your standard quartz watch. And you'll also notice another thing. The hand on there, it's sweeping. It's not ticking. Now, sweeping seconds hands oh, are usually something that you'll find on mechanical watches, not quartz ones, because on quartz watches they are they tend to be typified by ticking hands and this one has a sweeping hand and it's very very elegant it's 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 about as smooth as the hand on a Seiko spring drive so how is it doing that well any quartz watch is actually capable of having a sweeping seconds hand but they don't because of power consumption so what <coughs> excuse me what brands needed to do in order to make the the quartz movements they use, any at all power efficient, they had a ticking um, hand that used less power. So this one not only is faster in terms of the oscillations, but it uses a lot more power with the movement of the seconds hand, and it seems to have, as they claim, a battery life of about two, three years, which is fantastic. And Belova is quite quiet on how they do these things. Now, in the written review that you'll read, about this watch. I'll talk more about exactly um, why the movement is uh, more precise. Um, it has a three versus two prong quartz crystal and I do some comparisons with the mathematics in terms of the um, the frequencies of how fast they're running. So you can understand you know why it's why it operates um, in in a faster and more precise way. In terms of the power consumption, how they were able to do this, I honestly don't know. Um, my only guess would be that they are using a lithium ion battery. There are some that are meant to last 10 years. There are quartz watches that have 10 year batteries. And they're using a battery like that in here, but since it draws so much power, they're getting about two, three years out of it. Though I don't know anything about that, and I haven't seen anything about that, and I honestly haven't um, taken the time to open up the back to take a look at what battery it's using. So I don't know, but suffice it to say, you have three things in here which are very, very attractive. You have the very high precision, you have the sweeping hand, just like a mechanical movement, but it's quartz, and an acceptable battery life. Oh, and the price isn't crazy. You can get a thermo-compensated quartz watch for a few thousand dollars, but this one is a few hundred dollars. And so that's fantastic. So, you know, like I said, if you just saw this watch and you didn't notice that it's sweeping seconds hand, you'd have no idea about this stuff. And it doesn't say anything on here about being ultra accurate or anything like that. So I've just gone on and on talking about the movement when, you know, like, even your normal salesperson probably wouldn't know. Anyways, let's talk about the specific watch. So you know why the movement's cool. Let's talk about this watch. It's about, I think, what is it, like 46 millimeters wide? Something around there. I'm looking right now. Let's see here. 
it's yeah, 46 and a half millimeters wide. Um, it has a mineral crystal. Uh, I would have liked for it to have a sapphire crystal. I think there's versions that do. It's curved. You can see that there. And it has a little bit of distortion when looking at it at extreme angles. Not that big of a deal, but um, something I would have liked for them to do is have a slightly more, uh, either a flat crystal or one on there that, that uh, is a little bit better made that doesn't have that distortion effect. Not a big deal though. You can see the whole thing is kind of curved. On the wrist it's quite comfortable even though it's big. Now this one, you actually, it's actually very difficult to tell, but this is a titanium watch. Um, and it's, you'll, it's light. When you touch it, you'll, you'll know that. But just by looking at it, it looks like polished steel. They did a good job with the polish. Unfortunately, the bezel does not turn. It looks like one that turns, but it doesn't. Um, but it has those indicators in there. It looks like it does. The dial is very legible. This version of the Champlain has a carbon fiber dial. There's other ones that don't. And they match this, um, I forgot the name of this strap, Cordura or something like that. And the sort of the look of the strap, they put this one on here because it matches the carbon fiber a little bit. Um, there's also metal bracelets available. And personally, I think this would look cooler with a little bit different strap, um, which you can do. I think it's a 24 millimeter wide strap. You can switch it out there. But it's, it's cool. It um, obviously has luminous hands and hour markers. You have the date. It's uh, 300 meters water resistant. It's a durable watch. It's very precise. Um, price, is, price is not so bad. This one retails for $599. Um, street price is oftentimes going to be um, less, but even at $599, it's a fair price, especially for the movement. And like that's big and sporty and bold. The Precisionist line has a lot of different watches now. So Belova has formal watches and sporty watches and different things in between, and also for men and women. So overall, I'm a fan of the Belova Precisionist. I think that um, it's a good thing to have in your collection, especially because of the movement and that it's very rare to find a movement that's quartz um, that has all these features. I mean, this is the only one of, of, of its you know, type that exists, and it's cool, and um, I think that's neat. And for those people out there who are super into precision and accuracy and don't want to spend a ton, a ton of money on a watch and want an analog watch, this is it. Because you can get, like, you know, Casio, for example, and Citizen, they have watches which are atomic clock controlled, but this one is natively um, very accurate. Anyways. Again, this is the Belova Precisionist Champlain, and you can see the full review on a blog to read.com. Thanks.